Happy New Year, folks! It's the 31st of December, and welcome back to Mars Horizon. Before we jump in, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you who not only who are watching this series, obviously it's only the ones that are watching this series that will see it, but uh, a really a huge thank you to everyone for supporting not only this series, uh, but also the channel as a whole. I really appreciate it. You have no idea how much it means to me that you guys uh, have decided to support the channel and the series. It really means a lot. So thank you so much for that. And if you are not uh, signed up for the channel, if you're not uh, following the channel, subscribe to the channel, why not hit the subscribe button as well? It really helps me out a lot. And also, of course, the like button. It, it really helps you have no idea how much, and I really do appreciate it so, so much. But anyway, let's jump into Mars Horizon. We have two launches next, next month. Uh, we're launching the laboratory module and we're launching the X-ray telescope. We also have our quest mission here, lunar roving together with the US. It's challenging. We don't really need reputation with the US. So yeah. All right, let's continue on to the next month. Uh, I do hope that 2021 will be a better year than 2020 has been for most people. Uh, uh, 2020 has basically, well, been the crappiest year on record, I guess. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I really hope that things look up for everyone in, uh, in 2021. Uh, let's see. X-ray telescope ready for launch. Decent launch reliability, good payload reliability, a lot of science. And the laboratory module has very good launch reliability, very good uh, payload reliability, and also good science. Let's launch. It's raining again? Come on. Terrible conditions. Reschedule. This is the third time we reschedule this launch, I think. Uh, let's go in April. And let's see if we are luckier with this one. We are. Good conditions. 3% risk of going boom. 8% of a negative event. Let's go. This is the X-ray telescope. So this is a milestone mission that we can actually finish second, even though I forgot it for a long time until I was reminded in the comments. So thank you for that. And we have liftoff. It's the big Saturn V rocket that is taking off here. And it's looking good. It's looking good. Yep. Yeah. It's looking good. All, the launch of that always scares the crap out of me because it takes so long. All right. Secure event or secure launch. No negative events. No positive events. All good. Saturn V and Saturn II are already maxed out. X-ray telescope looks pretty good. All right, achieve Earth orbit. Uh, we need 30 comms, 30 nav, and we need to manage our drift. We get plus three drift every turn, and we need to keep it between minus one and one. We have four turns, five commands per turn. So let's jump in. Uh, let's see. we do a signal attenuation test and then a gyroscopic stabilization, that gives us one and six. Then we can do some mission control monitoring. That gives us five, five, and four. Then we can do an orbital plane adjustment. And another orbital plane adjustment, I think. That takes us to 5 and 17 and 2. It's a power-hungry turn, but it's fine. We only have 10% risk of failure. And it's all looking good. Beautiful. Our drift goes up. 
So I think we'll do two mission control monitorings to bring our drift down quite a bit. We are, might actually do three and then recharge our power twice. Takes us to 17, 14, and 8. We need a lot of power on this. Alright. That takes our drift back to zero. Now, if we do two orbital plane adjustments, recharge our power and do a mission control monitoring. That takes us to 21 and 25 with two power left. So we can do an orbital plane adjustment next time. And then we can do two boostings of transmission. So I think this will work for the 25 bonus reward. All good. So if we boost the transmission twice, and then do an orbital plane adjustment, and then recharge our power, that gives us the ability to resist all three of them. It gives us our bonus award, and we are within the drift margins. So that seems like a good deal to me. And we didn't have to resist once. Nice. All right. So that's Earth orbit. Then we need to deploy the space telescope systems where we need to deal with drift again. So we need 10, 50, and 10. 10 comms, 50 data, 10 nav. We need our drift at zero, exactly. And we can only bring our drift to the left. We'll gain plus four drift every turn. We have four turns, five commands per turn. All right, so 50. So let's start by doing this again. That gives us one, two, and six. Then we can do an orbital plane adjustment or not. Let's do a mission control monitoring and then a gamma ray detection. That gives us two, 12, and four. And then let's do another orbital plane adjustment. That gives us two, eleven, and ten. We've brought our drift down to zero. It'll go back up to four, and we have five power left. This is for a fifty percent bonus award. All good. Just barely, but all good. Okay. Let's do two signal attenuation tests. Then we can do two gamma ray detections. And another signal attenuation test, I think. That gives us 8, 27, and 8. And brings our drift way down, so we don't have to worry so much about drift next turn. Okay, 8, 27, and 8. We really need to hit this a few times. But we can't bring it down to less than four. The drift. Because then it will... If we bring it to zero... 
well, to minus four. Then I'll go up to zero next time. And that's okay. So we did two gamma ray detections. Let's do an orbital plane adjustment. And then recharge our power. That gives us 6, 42, and 12. Then we need to do this twice and this once next turn. I think we're fine. Dang it. Okay, that takes us back to zero. Our drift is right on the money. So we need to do... So recharging some power, do a plasma wave analysis. Research some more power, do a plasma wave analysis. And then I can't get that. So, what if we recharge power three times, do a plasma wave analysis and a high energy radiation scan? That takes us to 10, 51, and 10, which is almost right on the money. We have one extra data, which we then don't have to resist. We can't resist anything anyway, but we do get our 50% bonus awards pr provided. None of these two fail, because we are right on the money with Drift as well. First one was good, second one was good. Nice! 50% bonus award achieved! Achievement unlocked in the data. I have no idea what that is. Alright, 100 extra support because we were second on the milestone. We get 1915 support, 146 science for 120 months. It's not a whole lot of science in the short term, but it is science. All right, do we have any request missions that we want to do here? No. Oops. I mean, we could do the lunar roving or the science there. We're getting 846 science. We're here now. Potentially, we go up to more than 1,200 for quite a while. All right. So, active science income. 150 from the International Space Station. 300 from the Private Space Station. 146 for the X-ray telescope. 210 from buildings and 40 from NASA and then our planned missions which is next month hopefully that'll take us up to 1204 for quite a while for quite a while all right let's continue on then we are launching the laboratory module next month god willing and the Pardiso is complete next month as well. Astronaut takes space shower. A series of photos from your space station Skylab have been published in several newspapers. In one image, astronaut Kendrick Edwards can be seen taking a space shower, a complex zero-g shower involving a cylindrical curtain and a vacuum system to suck away water. It takes hours to set up. Various articles have quoted Kendrick uh, Edwards as saying, and the soaps make you its itch, but it still felt like a luxury. Gain 200 support. All right, laboratory module is complete. Uh, we're ready for launch, so let's go ahead and launch that. Yay, the weather is good. 1% risk of critical failure and 99 of a positive event. 
Let's go. Looking good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice positive event we're gonna get there. Beautiful. I think we would have gotten it even if we hadn't had the upgrade on it. Plus one comms on first task in mission. Not the greatest positive event, but it's a positive event nonetheless. Okay. Achieve Earth orbit. So 20 of each we need. We need to deal with drift, but it doesn't fluctuate or anything. We have three crew members on board. to help with the gaining so i am actually thinking that we just do three manual data collections for the first turn here we have six turns three commands per turn and three manual data collections here gives us 10 and 7 right off the bat without any drift i think that's a pretty darn good deal so confirm that. This is for a 25% bonus reward that we're going after. I think we can just do that again. 19, 13, and 0 we have now. Let's do it. I mean, we get 5 resources from spending 0 power so I think it's about as good a deal as we can get. So if we start doing this... I think that works out very, very well. It's 22, 19 and 6. Still no drift. Beautiful, an extra nav there. So that's 22, 19, and 7. So if we do this again, that takes us to 25, 25, and 13. Then we could, in reality, do an orbital plane adjustment and a flight path control and that will get us there within the drift parameters with a turn to spare and we can even recharge once so 26 23 25 beautiful this was nice and easy there we go next we need to deploy the systems and we have drift again. So 12, 30, and 12 we need. And drift needs to be at zero, but it doesn't fluctuate or anything. Six turns remaining, three commands per turn. 12 com 30 data and 12 nav. Okay. So what's the best way to get data? Infrared mapping. I think we'll do a manual data collection and conduct some experiments. And then do a mission control monitoring. That takes us to 8, 5 and 0. And keeps us right on the money in regards to drift. There we go. Then... I think I'll do a flight path control and an external sensor alignment. Or actually, and an orbital 
plane adjustment. And uh, because that takes us to zero drift, and then we can do infrared mapping. Yeah. All right, that takes us to 9, 8, and 11. So I actually want to do three infrared mappings this turn, taking us to 9, 23, and 8, and zero drift. Then we can do another two infrared mappings. And a flight path control. That takes us to 10, 32, and 12. Then we just need to adjust our drift next turn, which we can do with oral plane adjustment. So yeah, I think we're good. Nice, two extra data there. Thought we re that we really needed them. Uh, we'll accept this. Because we'll do an overall plane adjustment, which gives us more than enough um, nav. Then we can do a signal attenuation test and a recharge that leaves us at zero drift 13 comms one more than we need 33 data three more than we need and 17 nav 12 more than we need that's 50 percent bonus reward achieved and off we go and we can even resist there we go very nice and that will give us 4,680 support and 354 science for 20 months. Nice. And we have Rossi, Fernandez, and Alvarez on the space station for 12 months. We have the Venusian weather report that we need to do. We'll do science on this, of course. And we'll launch in January. The payload reliability isn't the greatest, but we'll, we'll go with it. For research... Let's just take a look at science here. So we're at 1218 for quite a while. And we might actually go up a bit over here. So it's all good. Next month, month we're launching the Lunar Broadcast. And then we're launching the Venusian weather report in nine months. And let's continue on. This is a diplomatic mission with uh, Japan. It's lucrative, but it's mostly the diplomatic thing that I'm interested in, to be honest. 99% uh, on both. This is as reliable as it gets. And we have adequate conditions, 1% risk of going boom, and that's it. Let's do it. And it's again the big Saturn V. That is going up. It's a cool looking rocket, but it scares the crap out of me every time we launch it because it's so slow to actually go up. And it's leaning over a lot. scares the crap out of me every time. All right, we have a positive event. Nice. Uh, plus one data on the first task in mission. That's fine. Lunar broadcast. We need to do thrust and we have crew. We need to perform a translunar injection. So we have four turns, three commands per turn. We need 13 comms, 9 nav, and 5 thrust. So we need to hit the controlled burn twice on the last turn. And that means that we need to actually get to 17 comms and 7 nav, as we'll get to from this. All right. 
We have four crew on board. So let's do a manual data collection. Uh, conduct some experiments and boost our transmission. That takes us to eight, zero and four. That's a pretty good start. We have 1% risk of a failure. All right, then we can do two more boosts of the transmission. And conduct some experiments. That gives us 18, 0, and 5. I think that's fine. Nice two extra comms. All right, so what we'll do. is we'll do two trajectory optimizations. And then we can actually just do three controlled burns next turn. And that'll get us there. So one, two, three. 10% bonus reward achieved. We have more than enough thrust. We have exactly the nav that we need. Beautiful. All right, translunar injection complete. Next, we need to achieve lunar orbit where we need to deal with drift. And we need eight comms, 10 data, 14 nav. We need to keep our drift between minus one and one and we get plus three drift every turn. Okay. So let's do a visual spectrum sampling and a location extrapolation. We have four turns, three commands per turn. I get if I said that. And then we can do a data compression. That gives us five, three, and two. Okay. Then three flight path controls. Well, that doesn't do anything for our drift. We can't really use this because that increases our drift. So let's do a visual spectrum sampling and another one of those. And then a gyroscopic stabilization taking us to eight, nine and five. Okay, and our drift is now at minus one. So I think I want to do an orbital plane adjustment. Location extrapolation. And a flight path control that takes us to nine, 10 and 16. That gives us everything we need. Then next turn, our drift will go up to where we need to be and all is good.
Nice, a little bonus there. Not that we really need it. Because we don't actually need to do any actions next turn. So we're at one drift. So we just need to recharge our power three times. That gives us our 20% bonus award. And all is good. So next we are performing a lunar descent. Landing on the moon. I do love those cutscenes. They're beautiful. And we need eight comms, 20 data, and four nav. And we need our drift to be minus one to one. It doesn't fluctuate or anything though. So eight, 20, and four. Okay. So why don't we do a manual data collection? Uh, conduct some experiments. And do a gyroscopic stabilization. That takes us to five, three, and three, and zero drift. All right, experiments went well. And the gyroscopic stabilization was stabilizing. Okay. I think I want to do this again. That takes it to seven, eight, and three. And then I want to do an infrared mapping, taking us to 17, 7, 13, and two. I think that works out for us. All right. Then. We can actually do this again. And a gyroscopic stabilization. Then next turn, we just need to do an infrared mapping. And we're home free. And we never moved our drift away from zero. Nice. So if we get an extra nav here, we're actually done. We didn't, though. It was an extra calm that we got. But we can do an infrared mapping that gives us our bonus reward. Our four nav are in the bag. Our 20 data is in the bag. And our eight comms is most definitely in the bag. We can recharge the power. Our drift is right on the money. We never touched it once. And there we go. Let's get down there. Very nice. Here we come. Man, I'd love to go to the moon. It'd be so much fun. All right, then we need to dock with the command module. And again, we have drift. And another beautiful cutscene. All right. Drift needs to be zero exactly four turns, three commands per turn. The drift doesn't fluctuate. We need seven comms, 18 nav. No data though. Which is kind of nice. Uh, let's see. If we do a manual data collection, a conducting of experiments, and a orbital plane adjustment, that takes us to two and six. Four data right on the money with the drift. Oh, a little positive event there. Those experiments went really well. An extra comms, not bad. All right, three and six. So 
So what if we did this twice? And then did this once. That would take us to 8 and 17. Then next turn, we just need to do an orbital plane adjustment to fix our drift and get the last bit of nav. We'll go way over, uh, but that works. Nice, an extra data, not that we need it. All right, so if we do an orbital plane adjustment, recharge our power twice, that gives us our 40% bonus ward. We are in eight comms, 23 nav, drift right on the money, and all is just fine and dandy. And the orbital plane adjustment adjusts, and there we go. Beautiful little docking sequence here. Wonderful. And then we need to perform a controlled re entry where we need to deal with heat. So what do we need? We need 14 and 15, 14 com, 15 nav. Our heat needs to stay below three and it will be modified two to three at the start of each turn. Four turns, three commands per turn. All right. So let's do a um, manual data collection, conduct some experiments, and then do an external sensor alignment. That takes us to zero, two, and eight, and zero heat. Now all that data that we don't need And how much heat do we get? We get three. We can spend on boosting our transmission here. Let's actually do that three times. That gives us 18 and two and zero heat. All right, how much heat do we get? Three again. So, that means that we can do an external sensor alignment. When we can do an orbital plane adjustment and another orbital plane adjustment. That's 50% bonus reward achieved. We have 16 and 16, we need 14 and 15. Our heat is under control and we complete the mission with the bonus reward, or the task with the bonus reward, and a turn in hand. Not bad if I do say so myself. Not bad at all. In we come. In our Gemini capsule. Beautiful little splash down there. And off the boats come to get us. We don't need to see that. That gives us 6,750 uh, or 6,750,000 uh, space bucks or dollars or euros, I guess it is. We are in Europe. And 66 reputation with Japan, which is actually what we wanted. And we have six people recuper or four people recuperating, three of them for six months and one of them for three months because he's an athlete. All right. Now, if we take a look at our diplomacy with Japan, we are now uh, friendly with them. So they give us 2% science income. So that boosts our science income a little bit again. And if we take a look at our science income, it's looking decent. It's going to stay up there for quite a while, and we may even get an increase. Uh, 
what's this new request mission that we have? Galilean Moons Flyby. Challenging mission. Could plan that. Question is, do we need to? Do we have the lunar roving? And on Earth we have the crude observatory. Suppose we could do the crude observatory. I will see. I'll think about it. But we are out of time. Uh, so next month, Ariane 6 will be done. And then we will start researching uh, two times supplementary Ariane 5s. Which means that... Once they are done, we'll be at 100% Mars expertise and ready to launch our uh, Mars mission. So yeah, that's going to be exciting. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And again, Happy New Year. I really hope you're enjoying the series. And uh, I hope you get into the new year well and with optimism, optimism uh, at the end of this horrible year. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you in the new year.